Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Can do a quick review of the Gross Tractor. It's on special today. There's a uh, collector's gem Gross Tractor for seven pound seventy seven or nine ninety nine euros. Now let's have a quick look and see is it worth it. Well, the package itself is very nice, and this value, well, yeah, it's definitely very good value. So let's have a look at the uh, the, the tank itself in a little bit more detail. So looking at this thing, what you've got, TPM 1250, quite nice, dispersion 0.53, not very good. You've got to treat this 7.5cm uh, as, as, as basically a HE thrower. You lob it, it lands on the target, it's a support tank. The gun elevation, 60 degrees, gun depression, 12 degrees, basically it's fantastic at working ridges, staying behind people and just lobbing shells constantly onto, uh, to your opponents and taking them to pieces. Now you may not uh, see why this is important. Well, with the mobility, 44k pH uh, top speed, which is very nice, power to weight ratio, 15.48, and basically no armor. Let's have a look at the profile, boom, in a second. Okay. 3D model, collision, hybrid, you're looking basically no armor. The best armor you can get is about th the equivalent of about 30 mil of armor, if you're lucky. And if it's firing over towards you, that's what you'll see over a ridge. So you can get some lucky bounces with uh, about 30, 35 mil, as you saw. There we go, 34 mil. The front plate is it's nothing. No armor whatsoever. The sides can potentially eat shots. So showing this to your enemy, getting s glancing blows, you can use the armor quite nicely. Let's get back to that gun as well as comparing it. Let's compare it to something. Let's go for the uh, the Panzer 4A. Let's compare it to the Panzer 4. So let's get back in and do that. So stats wise, DPM, it's down by 500. Reload, not so good. Rate of fire, not so good. Dispersion, worse by 0.5, not good. But on the move, it's better. Now, this is where it wins out. Well, ammo capacity, you're down by about 20. Now, the speed, it's up a little bit. Reversing, not so good. Power to weight ratio, not so good. But the terrain resistance is significantly better. So you can motor around the battlefield, get up to the top speed, which is higher, and keep moving around to stay out of trouble, get away from your enemies and allow you to work the battlefield. Bringing the gun to bear. Now let's look at the uh, the dispersion and the details uh, com comparison between the uh, the guns. So gun wise, basically looking the same gun between the two tanks. So it comes down to the mobility. Gun elevation, there's fifth, uh, 40 degrees extra on uh, gun elevation. Gun depression, you've got two more. 10 is no slouch, but 12 is even better. So this can really work ridges. So let's let's get back and have a look at the vehicle itself. So the tank itself, this is what it really looks like with those amazing sights that can eat shots. Now in the real world, I've managed to win 71% of my games with it. Add only 24 games so far and averaging 328 per game. Now let's compare that to other tier 3s and see see how well so against other tier 3s at the same range 328 is far better than the Toldi better than T15 like the uh, BT7 let's compare it to all tier 3s as you probably know I've got everything so comparing it generally to a normal tier 3 you're looking a good good tank will do about 100 points per level so this at 328 is there or thereabouts. The T46, you're looking at 170. The SU76I, which is overpowered, 410. The AMX38, only down to 228. It wins more, but it doesn't. it's not able to get into positions to deal that damage. Whereas this can get into positions to bring the 75 uh, mil to bear. Very, very neat. So you're looking at the Valentine, 60% win rate, 310. So it's 20, uh, it's 10, 10 or 20 less than the than this tank. So in real terms, is it worth it? Is is the deal itself worth it? 
So let's have a look, call this back up, and think, is this worth it for the money? So £7.77, is it worth having a support tank like this that you need to work your way around the battlefield, think about where you're going, use strategic locations, and then just pummel them with that fantastic 75 mil. Well, actually, for this amount of money, it's been a lot more expensive. This is very, very good value for money, especially with them throwing in 1,250 uh, gold as well. I say, yes, this is very, very neat, a very good package, and I would get it. It's, uh, it if I didn't already have it, I, I would get it. For this little amount of money, for such a good tank, definitely. And I'll come up with a video after this to show you more in-depth details of it, the playstyle, how you can get that 70% win rate, and how you can max maximise its characteristics to, to allow you to win on the battlefield. So this is the Krupp, well, the Gross Tractor Krupp. I'm the Gaming Bear, and I say after this, well, yeah, get it. So see you soon, see, and thanks guys. Bye.